there's a couple of things that sorry. So there's a couple of things that you can do in order to make your trip to the grocery store a little bit safer. So you could choose a cart over a handheld basket so you can stabilize yourself a little bit more while you're walking. You know, instead of having to hold a whole basket with one arm and you're you're kind of tipping to the side, you have something in front of you, you can put both of your hands on and you're not holding that weight. It makes so, so much sense. No, that's not where I'm Something there. small, but something to always keep in the back of your head. We we always grabbing the mix. Yeah. Right. I know. I do the same thing too. And it gets filled up. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's how I always go. Is I'm like, I need one thing, so I'll just get the basket. And then you're going through the store, and you're like, you have like thirty things in the basket. Okay. You're like, oh my gosh, I should have gotten the cart. Yeah. Um, and then like another thing, of course, be mindful of spills on the floor. Um. If you notice the spill and you you are comfortable enough finding someone who works there and letting them know about the spill, that's always a really great option. But keep an eye out because sometimes people spill stuff and they don't tell the workers at the grocery store. I worked at a grocery store for like four years, so I'm very, very um, knowledgeable in this stuff. Um, also keep an eye out for mats that are not secured to the ground. A lot of produce departments have mats on the floor and a lot of the times they get bunched up really easily. So um, really keep an eye out for that. I know usually a lot of the times they're in the produce section. So that's like one area you really need to look out. Um, if you can't reach something, ask for help. The workers are more than happy. Well, they should be more than happy to help. <laughs> um, and um, also some people, I know some people bring their own carts to the grocery store, like the little, we'll show a photo of them, but like the little carts. So if you bring that to the grocery store, you can also just use that while you're grocery shopping. Like you don't have to like transfer to different carts. And then um, watch out for cracks or holes in the pavement when you're uh, entering and exiting the store. Um, another thing I know we live in, we're in the Bronx, but if you drive to a grocery store, some grocery stores will actually, if you ask the employees to help you bring your groceries out to the car, especially if you have something really heavy, a lot of the times they'll do it. I know at the grocery store I worked at, anyone who asked us, like, can you help me get my groceries and put them in the car? They, we would always help. So I can't speak for every grocery store, but a lot of grocery stores are more than happy to help. Yes. I, I don't shop at Pete food as mm -hmm. much as I used to. Yeah. And one of the reasons is I, I drive mm -hmm. in Tuckahoe. ShopRite in Tuckahoe mm -hmm. has about 10 of those mobile cars you can drive all over the store mm -hmm. and then you, you, you drive it to the car and it's like, it's really excellent. Mm -hmm. So just Yeah, that's a out. great point. And also things like, like grocery stores like ShopRite have like order in advance, order online, mm -hmm. add everything you want to your car and then you can either just go mm -hmm. pick it up or sometimes get it delivered. Yeah, they have, have like a bigger selection there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then also, like, there's certain apps like Instacart, um, where you have someone order for you. Instacart isn't always, isn't always, like, foolproof. It's not always perfect, where sometimes you'll get shoppers who will be like, oh, I found a substitution, and it's not the right substitution. It's something completely different, but that's, like, another option, and I know, like, stores, like, um, sites like Amazon have um, certain shelf-stable items and staples that you can order to your house chips or, things like that yeah I mean, so those are definitely some options and so this is the trolley we're talking about does anyone here use this trolley when they go grocery shopping or walk okay. to the groceries does anyone walk to the grocery store or does yeah. everyone typically drive yeah yeah these are good if you're if you're walking from your home to the grocery store and you have to carry a bunch of things back so these are really useful. Or you can also, another thing, you can ask your the your cashier at the grocery store, hey, could you help me put the groceries into this cart? Because I'd have to lean really low and it's like too tight in here and they should be more than happy to help you. Hopefully they should be more than happy to help you. Um, I, I say this because I know not everyone always That's is so the funny, nicest, yeah. <laughs> um, but they should be. Um, yeah. All right, so restaurants. Restaurants can be dark, crowded, everything like that. And so it's important to be mindful of your surroundings. So a few things, beware of bags or other items belonging to others that are placed in walkways. So some, I know you're not supposed to put your purse on the ground, but some people, if they're putting, if they just maybe just went shopping or something like that and they put their bags 
um, near the near their chair and it kind of blocks the walkway. That's something to just to be mindful of. Um, keep an eye out for food, food or liquids that may be spilled on the floor. Something that I also want to add is napkins. If they have those napkins, like, um, like the reusable napkins that they wash and people drop them on the floor, then they just kind of lay there and then yeah. you can slip on them. And that, that's tough too. I had one where someone had their coat oh, on the oh, back of their chair yeah. and my cane went on the coat. And, oh. Yeah. Yeah, so that, see that too, if big, big parkas or big coats hanging off the back, mm -hmm. just being mindful of that. So something else you can do is ask for a table that's close to the entrance to avoid walking through those crowded or cluttered areas. A lot of restaurants in the city tend to be closer, like tables yeah. are close together mm -hmm. and maybe you don't want to like go through the trouble of navigating through everyone else. Um, also, choosing an arm, a chair with an armrest instead of a booth to help you stand up once you're done. If you're in your booth and you're trying to scoot your way out and then you have to lift yourself up, you don't want to rely on the table too much either. So um, choosing a chair with an armrest is something you could do also. Also, if you know you're going out to dinner like in advance, maybe like calling and making a reservation and on your reservation saying these things like, hi, can we make sure, so I'm making a reservation for this many people on this day. Um, I have mobility issues. Could you make sure that we get a table close to the entrance? Or can you make sure that we're at um, a table with chairs instead of a booth? Or I know some restaurants, they have like the high tables with like the really high chairs or like being like, can you make sure we don't get one of those tables? And hopefully the restaurant should accommodate that, especially if you call in advance, they really should. Um, yeah. So another thing is going to the movies. I know you guys have movie days here on Wednesdays, but sometimes we like to go to the movie theaters with our friends and family. So um, the movie theaters can be very dangerous, actually. So um, dim lighting can lead to poor visibility. So especially if you need to go to the bathroom while the movie is playing, it can be really challenging to navigate from your seat all the way to um, all the way down the stairs um, and out. So some things you can do is either choosing a seat, seat near the front, or even if you wanna, we say choose a seat near the front, but not everyone wants to sit in the front during the movies. But something you can also do is choose a seat near like the side. Aisle so seat. like an aisle seat, so that at least you don't have to like crawl over a bunch of different people when you have to um, either come back with you. Yes, you can come in. Um, so you don't have to like, crawl through a bunch of people when you either need to exit or enter. So you can just get up and be right by the stairs. Um, also choosing those aisle seats, choose one near some, I know some movie theaters have an aisle seat in the middle, but they also have the aisle seats on the side. Try to choose one on the side because usually the sides are the ones that have the handrails. Um, and then if you have other other things, as many movie theaters have accessible seats that don't require you to go upstairs. So if you use any mobility aids, such as um, such as a wheelchair or a walker, you can request those seats so you don't have to go up any chair, any stairs. Um, so as we said, like make sure you use handrails when you're using the stairs if available. Something you could do is bring a small flashlight or even use the flashlight on your phone in order to illuminate the stairs if you're going down them while the movie is playing. Um, oops, this is blocking. No, it's this guy. Um, sorry. I don't know. I just want that. I don't know how to drag it away. Sorry. Let's yeah, just drag it all the way to the top. Oh man, sorry. Okay, that's fine. And then just, and then, sorry, we just have to click on it and then click away and it should go. No. Oh, wait, yeah, no, that's fine. There we go. Okay. And we just have to go back once, like send, finish reading. Wait, no, we're no good. sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um. So keep your items out of your hands and place them into a bag to help maintain balance and hold onto the railing. And also watch out for spilled food, drinks, or popcorn in the aisles. We have more on the movies as well. So just this might necessarily talk, might not necessarily be like fall prevention related, but there are a bunch of accessibility options at movie theaters. 
up and coming, especially like those big chains like AMC or Regal or something like that. So um, some of those devices include assistive listening devices, audio descriptions, and closed captioning glasses or displays. So many theaters, include, including AMC and Showcase Cinema, um, have begun to do um, caption open caption screenings where the captions pop up onto the screen. Um, some theaters also offer a service where you can get your concessions delivered to your seat. So you should also just call the theater ahead of time to see if they do. Might be easier if you want to get a popcorn, a drink, maybe a snack, anything like that. You don't want to have to lug all that stuff into your seat. Um, so if you could have someone deliver it to you, that would be um, awesome. Yeah. yeah, I know like some AMCs do it, some AMCs don't. Yeah. But also if you go to like an iPick or the Alamo Draft House those places also they only do delivering concessions to your seat like so those, those are some really great options movies. yeah yeah is it, do you know about the uh, the movies in pelham pelham no but we could definitely no i'll tell you oh, oh perfect yeah. yeah tell us pelham i think they i think it's september now in june but I, you have to double check on every tuesday in pelham the pelham picture house at 2 <laughs> 30 there are movies for seniors, first run that everybody's paying twenty dollars for, uh -huh. free. Uh -huh. So what's good about that is you're not with kids running up and down aisles, and you know, I've been going there for years, and I just I I went I just went this past week. I saw the DiCaprio movie. Oh, the I know the exact movie you're talking about. I'm blanking on the movie. Yeah. yeah, it's all first rate, rate first run movies. Um. And I did. I think I asked them if uh, September now to May is it is it, it's free, but it's two thirty on a Tuesday. And so what the good news is that you're with other people that you know may have some similar issues to you, and mm -hmm. you know so very accommodating. Well, that's awesome. That's a great. Yeah. That's like a great tip. Also a great way to see a free movie yeah. at the theaters. Yeah, we're just not yeah. free movie in years. <laughs> Um, and also, many um, many theaters also offer a discount when you're over a certain age, so you can also look at that when you buy your tickets. Um, yeah. So next is retail stores. I know I love going to stores like Target. Um, you can also look stores at the mall or anything. So um, when you're going to these stores, watch out for items on the floor. I feel like everything is always watch out for stuff on the floor, but it cannot be stressed enough. They're major tripping hazards. So like there might be cleaning products, liquid, merchandise, clothing, hand basket, wires, anything on the floor. I know when I worked at the grocery store, we had too many items. Sometimes we put the items on the floor right in front of the shelf, which thinking about it in hindsight, not super safe, really dangerous. Also, some places have like end caps with stuff like hanging out. Yeah. Not great. A lot of stores like Target also like wax their floors or like yeah. clean the floors and stuff like that. So just want to be aware of like cleaning products that might leave like a, a slippery film on the floor also. Um, check the area for raised carpets once again or broken tiles. I know Target has like a lot of like, I feel like their floors change a lot in like different areas. Mm -hmm. So that's something. Surfaces. Um, as we said, make sure if you use a cart so you're not carrying items in your hands or in a basket. And for everything with fall prevention, wear proper footwear because that's like a major way that you could immediately that you can control on your own body to prevent falls. So making sure you're wearing like lace up shoes, making sure they're laced up, making sure they have a good bottom mm -hmm. um, and making sure they're weather appropriate, especially like as we get to colder months, the fronts of stores are going to be really slippery as people trudge in ice, snow, slush. So making sure you have the proper footwear on to try and prevent these falls is super important. And we're going to not we're talking about clothing and footwear not next week because next week they're shutting off water here and we won't be here but the week following we're going to talk about clothing footwear and other accessories for fall prevention um so now we're going to kind of we already had a little bit of discussion but like even more discussion if anyone has any tips tricks or, or questions or experiences or experiences about any specific areas that they would like to share this is also, of course, open to people on Zoom if they would like to share anything as well. We'd love to hear from you guys too. Yeah. Any comments? No, this is very good, like say I could. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone on Zoom, feel free to just unmute if you have anything to say. Thankful for all these good reminders.
Oh, thank awesome. You. Thank you. You know, we, we kind of, we kind of went through a lot of these and we're like, in our minds, we're like, this seems like common sense, but sometimes it's really important to have the reminders, have all the information in certain places. As we said, just because something's common sense doesn't mean we're always thinking about it, you know? So many times I'm, I'm like walking down the stairs and I'm not, I'm like running down with like too many things in my hand, not holding onto the handrails, even though I know I'm probably going to fall if I do that. So having like going over this stuff over and over again, it's always important. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to ask you about the slippery restroom floors. You know, those workers, I'm sure, are often in a rush, but they leave residual soap inside uh, the restroom on the floor and even in the hallway. And so it's one of those things that you can't really call ahead, or can you? Has anybody had any good luck in in um, advocating for themselves on this specific issue or um, it, it, it makes me not want to go, makes me not want to go out to eat because it's yeah. so yeah. frequent. Any tips? Public restrooms are hard, I think, because they're not so frequently cleaned and you, you know, we never know what's on the floor and you know, not having like grab, grab bars so it, right. it, it, it's a, it, that is definitely a great point. Thank you for bringing that up. We should definitely look into that, but yeah. it is, yeah, that, that is tough. Anyone have any, any tips? Public no. restrooms? It's hard. Like it's, you said. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, obviously this isn't a perfect and immediate fix, especially if you're running to the bathroom and you really have to go then, but like, honestly, finding a manager of the place and saying like, Hey, your bathroom isn't in an excess and, and, acceptable condition the floors are soaking wet and so someone could really fall even if you guys have a wet floor sign it's it's like not in yeah. a condition that can be used especially by people and so I think just definitely like going and finding and talking to a manager about certain conditions is always like a great place to start it'll be an avenue not only for yourself but like for other people cool. who are going to need it so yeah, that's definitely great. If you yeah. if you see it, that's like if you see something, say something. Thing, yeah, kind of that kind but, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Did Bye. you also Bye. mention about the bathroom um, to go into the larger stall that has the handrails on both sides and yeah, yeah. room to build move around better? Definitely, yeah. like definitely wise those it's, like, it's those nice, bigger. But, but I I don't know about uh, anyone else, but I've encountered numerous excess quote unquote accessible bathrooms and the handrail is so far away from the toilet it's completely useless so yeah. um yeah it's it's a it's a problem you know it may check the boxes of legal accessible and uh bathroom but if if the if the floor outside the bathroom has residual soap on it and the grab bars are too far away. It's like it doesn't it doesn't count. It doesn't work. So I don't know. I've never seen that level of detail on a Yelp rating, but I'm almost tempted to start adding my two cents there, as well as your good suggestion to tell the manager. Yeah. You know what? I think someone from our cohort has actually talked about and like either an app or a website you can go to where people talk yes. about the accessibility of places. Mm -hmm. So I could try, I could try and get that from them over the next week so that we could give it out to That's everyone. Cause like places will say they're accessible online and then you go there and they have like a stair to, a get, stair to get in and like not even a small stair, like a huge stair. stairs or they're like, we have an accessible bathroom, but you can't fit like your walker through the doorway. And then it's like, well, that's not accessible. And, um, like you some, know, some of the restaurants in Manhattan specifically are yeah. like in the, in the, you know, the, in the basement. Is bad. Yeah. 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 But you, you mentioned a point about in a supermarket to ask for help. Yes, but also like in a restaurant, like if I've been in a situation and it's hard to navigate through, I have been escorted many a time yeah. by a waitress or a waiter to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. That's a great tip. Yeah, no, ask me your arm and, and bring me there. And I said, rather yeah. than fall. Yeah. 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 And usually, honestly, especially if you're really nice about it, most restaurant 
grocery store workers or any workers, I'm more than happy to help you. Yeah. Like they, they would rather you get somewhere safely than do something unsafely. Right. And like, they don't want you falling. They don't either. want you falling. <laughs> so they would, sure. they would love to help you. And yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. No, the bathrooms, I know I saw on TikTok, there was like, um, a woman there, she uses like a motorized scooter and she actually had a whole series of where she went to quote unquote accessible restaurants and rated them for actual accessibility. And so many times, yeah. more times than not, it was completely inaccessible even though they sat online mm -hmm. they're like it's accessible so I'll, I'll try and find the website specifically though because that could really be a good tool to use like oh I think I might want to go here let me check this website and see what it actually says Definitely great. so thank you we have some stuff in the chat I just want to make sure um anyone have any accepts ex no, success with requesting restaurant Okay. Low toilets too. Yeah. Low toilets. Yeah. It's yes on top. Yes. Yeah. It feels like I'm in primary I school. Yeah. Even I, I find myself like even trying to hold on to the, like where the toilet paper roll holders, like just because I am I'm on the taller side, but it's those are it's hard, like low toilets, like yeah. having to squat all the way down and like you're holding onto the wall just to make sure. I've even been in like like rest stops where like the accessible bathroom the grab rail is like torn off the wall oh, right. it's like you have to be aware of that also you have to just make sure before if you are going to grab onto it make sure it is actually attached to the wall which is not something you should have to do but unfortunately like yeah in areas like that where it's like less maintained would you talk about um an airport with or without a wheelchair and also on, on the plane so a lot of the times i i would say like also, so you could call like the um, airline ahead of time to see like, what's your accessibility policies? What's your policies with having people get on and off with a wheelchair? So a lot of the times they do allow people who need extra assistance getting on the plane, they usually get on first and they get off last. Mm -hmm. And, but I would say, honestly, look for reviews online about different airlines because every airline is going to say they have these amazing policies but they might not actually follow through with them. So definitely like looking online for reviews of people who have used these services, but every airline should have a service where they bring you on in a wheelchair and then they store their wheel, your wheelchair for you. And then, um, and then they'll help you get off of the plane as well. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's really scary that some people have actually had issues with their wheelchairs being broken when going on planes. So that's a really scary reality that has happened i think i actually saw online recently a airline that's designing almost like a lock-in seat where you could stay in your wheelchair the entire time of the flight i don't know if that's when that will be rolled out or if that's just a prototype but that's something I, I saw online which is really cool but definitely like calling ahead of time and looking up reviews and see like if the airline actually does like pay attention to this and really like pays care to those passengers who may need extra assistance. Um, but yeah. And, and also it sounds good, you know, that you might be able to sit in your wheelchair, depending on how long the flight is. Depending on how long you're on the flight, let's say when I go to Puerto Rico, it's mm -hmm. three hours and 15 minutes, I don't want that. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. You want to get out into a couple seats. Yeah. I would want to sit in a seat. Mm -hmm. Normally, um, the best seat is always the aisle. The reason I don't take it is because the stewardess is a passing back and forth, serving mm -hmm. food, serving drinks. So yeah. I tend to always ask for a window seat mm -hmm. because you're more secure there as far as falling out of than needing a wheelchair. Yeah. But that I I do before I travel. Yeah. I, I want the window seat. I tell them when I order my flight or whatever it is, I, mm -hmm. I do that first. Because yeah. most of the time they will be taken. Yeah. For, yeah. for the first time ever, I took a flight mm -hmm. last year and it was to Egypt with my grandma. And she requested having an aisle seat because she wanted to be able to stretch out her legs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, and also she was telling me something about how where the emergency exit is, typically there's more leg room, things like that. Yeah, that's a really good tip. There's more, um, I would say if you're near the emergency exit, try to choose that aisle seat because if you're by the window of the emergency exit, they will say like, you have to help open the emergency yeah, exit. <laughs> and if you can't do it, they will move you, but if you're on the aisle seat, you should be. Yeah, aisle seats. I like 
Yeah. Aisle seats, window seats. You don't want to be stuck in the middle. Or if you have the extra the money, a lot of places have like extra room seats, yeah. but those always cost more There's money. So much. And then I know like the aisle seats too, like at least if you need to get up and like kind of stand, stretch, you don't have to ask to like, you know, walk over people and things like that too. Yeah, I know I need to use the bathroom a lot and sometimes it's without warning. So I need really easy access to getting up and going to the bathroom. So I usually choose the aisle seat as well. The issues that I had in airports is mm -hmm. I always get, you know, I get the wheelchair right to the gate, but I mean, you can't plan it, you know, when you have to go to the bathroom or when you might yeah. want to snack. So it's that gray area between when they take the wheelchair back yeah and you want to either go to the snack get a snack or go that's a little dicey sometimes you know yeah that's where i'd say it's definitely really important to like look up reviews because there may be an airline where they'll really have like someone who's because they should always have someone by the gate so they may have someone on standby i don't have a lot of experience with this yeah. but it's definitely yeah. like, I wasn't even thinking about airports, but airports are yeah. so important. Mm -hmm. We all love going on vacation. Or Who doesn't love going on vacation or visiting family? family. Yeah. Some amazing things. So yeah, I'd say definitely look up reviews and see like what people have said because there may be an airline out there that you've never thought of that might actually have really good uh, policies for helping people get to and from mm -hmm. um, the gates and also having someone on standby because like if you need to use the bathroom while you're sitting at the gate before right. your flight even takes off, gotta use the bathroom you know they should hopefully have someone there to help you so that's like really important mm -hmm. and also calling ahead I don't know if there's is there anything for TSA specifically because I know TSA can be very dicey and like you know standing in a line for a really long time is there any accessibility options for TSA that you for what TSA like the security. before going the security screenings uh well if, you, if I tell you if you ever go to the first time I had to use a wheelchair, a friend of mine told me, and I said, you know, my vanity, I didn't want to use it. Mm -hmm. But I have to tell you, it's like the best thing because you're brought to the head of the line. Mm -hmm. When you're in a foreign country, you zip through customs yeah. like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. So there is those other advantages to having so, so it really helps you get through. Like, you don't have to wait online for security at all. Like, they put no, you right there. The right that's, that's perfect. Right. Yeah, no, that's a really, that's a really great tip. So and although you still do have the security because they will pass you on the way. It will yeah. rain if you have something. So yeah. it's not like you're getting on there and not noticing whether you have something yeah. on your shoe or something. Or, <laughs> <laughs> you do go through that, but you do go first. Yeah, you don't have to wait on the JFK security line for like three no, hours. Real. <laughs> Anything, anyone on Zoom have something to say? Yes, about? yes. This reminds me years ago that my husband and I, we were in uh, in Naples and uh, I broke my toe and I was uh, really in pain. So we were at the airport of uh, Naples waiting in line and my foot was hurting. So my husband went to the you know, to the desk, whatever, and asked uh, the person, you know, my wife is really in, in pain. So they did bring, even that, you know, was not in advance, they did bring a wheelchair immediately. And I was the first one going into the airplane and they helped me. So that might be something, you know, because you never know. I didn't expect to break my toe, you know. So at the last moment, they were able to bring the wheelchair and take care of me. And that was in Naples, in uh Apo de Kino, I think. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you yeah, for thank sharing. You so much. Yeah, my, my family had a similar experience. My dad broke his ribs when he was on vacation. Oh, so and so they brought him right through security as well, I believe. Yeah. So yeah. definitely like last minute things they should also be able to accommodate for yeah. even at the yeah. last minute as being at the airport itself. So do not be afraid to ask for assistance. Yeah. Places are usually more than happy to help. Especially when you're really nice. Yeah. I always say when I would work in customer service and someone's so nice to me, I'll go so above and beyond. I'll do anything for you for nice to you. <laughs> yes, I'll help you with anything you yes. want. Yes. So, you. um, any other tips? Are we ready to move on to cardio drumming? Mm -hmm. Cardio drumming. Yeah. 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 So our theme this week is American pop music. Last week we did British pop, so we're switching it up coming back home. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, sorry. We have one more. When oh. booking or before you get to the airport, ask for a wheelchair assist, and they help you get through the security line. Uh, tip. Uh, more yeah. quickly. Be sure to tip generously. These workers are poorly paid, not unionized, 
not airline employee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you That's for the awesome. tip. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you can like let them know ahead of time, yeah. but if you end up like, if it's a last minute thing, like you get injured before, like while you're on vacation or like you're standing in line and you realize you can't actually, you thought you could get through, but like last minute you're like, I'm at this airport and I can't mm -hmm. definitely, um, go get help right there. So they should be able to accommodate it there, but always letting them know and getting your accommodations ahead of time are really helpful and when super book, important. When you book online, there's a section that you can write that you need a wheelchair. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that I think that's fun. what, yeah, that's that's definitely something that you could do. Yep. Um, so also really quick before we get into cardio drumming, did anyone not have a sign a sheet? I just want to make sure everyone's having a Yeah. Um, we're gonna get the share screen on. Um, <laughs> if you guys want to pull up to either a seat with a table because we're in the back of the table maybe over here or, or there or um, everyone at home who hasn't um, done cardio drumming before um, Liz is going to demonstrate the moves and this week it is American pop music I'm going to show you how to do it with your hands so you could do it with your hand on your lap or on a table in front of you but I'm going to be demonstrating it with just my lap we're going to get started in a second I will honestly most I just turned like yeah, this theater with like for people who are, are hard of hearing. If you call the theater ahead of time, even if the showing doesn't have captions on the screen, yeah, okay. they All should right. have devices available. So I would glasses. say some glasses I, with I don't like the glasses on because I need to wear my glasses for the movie, yeah. but it can be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But a lot of showings will actually either have like audio enhancers, so like you could wear almost like headphones that makes the audio louder, or they have like cup holders, like you yeah. put in the oh, cup yeah. holder and, and it becomes a double arm. And it's like the place Yeah. Because yeah. most theaters, uh, especially if it's like a larger theater, like, um, they will definitely yeah. have like, you yeah. know. Okay, so um, is everyone ready? All right, awesome. So our first song is Bruno Mars. So um, first, I'm gonna sit here. If everyone can see me, hello, everyone can see me. I'm gonna demonstrate the moves that we're gonna do. So our first, of course, our first move is a tap and a clap. We've done this one before. You're tapping on the table and clapping. Okay. Very good. And our next one is a tap on the table, and then you're gonna punch with one arm, and then tap, and then switch arms. Tap and punch. Punch. Tap and punch. Punch. All right. Um, our next one is a side to side hit. Side to side on the table. Just All right, and our last one is marching in your seat, seated marching. All right, and that's it. So we have five total moves for the song. We're upgrading a little bit, mm -hmm. and um, Liz is gonna get it started. Wait, let me. I'm gonna oh, stop sharing. I'm gonna make sure the audio is huh? sharing. One second. Sorry, guys. Just. Want to make sure everyone's perfect, and let me make sure. 
So, yep, and it's on yeah. out, so we should be good to go. All right, guys, here we go. We're starting again with our top and our clap. Go. Go, 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 go. Because we're in a place for a minute. She gave you the right one. Yeah, yeah. It's so hard to be able to be able to Maybe you could stop for like two seconds. Yeah, on my phone or something. Do you want to ask? Um, so just really quick, also, we were wondering if we could take a picture of anyone. If you don't want your picture taken, that's totally fine. We can get you guys out of it. But 
um, we do have like a poster presentation about our program. And if we could take pictures of like you guys maybe like holding the noodles or like it, clapping in the air or something while we're while we're drumming, that would be awesome too. If you don't, let us know. Let us know. Sure we can done. we can cut something over your face. We can edit your hat. We can put a nice yeah. smiley face on That's no, yeah, that's, that's fine. Fine. Yeah, I know you wouldn't want it. I remember from last time. Yeah. Um, yeah. We do get extra credit if the final picture is yeah. yeah. I hope so. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, we're gonna do it while we're we're yes. doing the song. Yeah. So. so our next song is "Can't Stop the Feeling" by Justin Timberlake. Um, so we'll go over our moves again. So if we have a side to side, everyone knows that one already. We did it in our last song. Um, the next one is a tap and a reach to the side. Tap and reach to the side. Reach, tap and reach, tap and reach, tap and reach, tap and reach. All right. And then our next one is just a rapid hit on the table. Go super fast on the table. Okay, and then we're going back to our clapping. So we're tapping and clap, tapping, tapping, clap, tapping. All right, those are our moves for the song. So remember, we're starting with our side to side. Okay. Uh, let me get the song up. Oh. New York's route forward is clear, and we deserve mass transit as great as our city. That's what congestion prices. There we go. All right, let's start from side to side. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, wavy when I turn it on. Off from my city, off from my home. We're flying that real ceiling when we in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. Do more like the way we rock it. So don't stop. All right, I'm the When you dance, 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 feel a good, good creeping up on you. So just dance, 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 come on. All those things I shouldn't do, but you dance, dance, dance. And it ain't nobody leaving soon, so keep dancing. I can't stop the feeling. So just dance, dance, dance. I can't stop the feeling. So just dance, 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 come on. Ooh, it's something magical. It's in the air, it's in my blood. Rushing on. I don't need no reason. Don't be control. I fly so high, no ceiling when I'm in my zone. Cause I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. Come on, like the way we rock it. So don't stop. When you dance, 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 feel a good, good creeping up on you. So just dance, 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 come on. All those things I shouldn't do, but you dance, dance, dance. And ain't nobody leaving soon, so keep dancing. I can't stop the feeling. So just dance, dance, dance. I can't stop the So just dance, dance, dance. I So just dance.
Stuff that they had done. Yeah. Yeah. Because one beetle had died in that time, right? I think two. Two. Yeah, two of them? Two. Yeah. And then the remaining two yeah. got back together to yeah, sing exactly. for this song, which that is was pretty so cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. Ringo Starr. Yeah. Yeah. Peace, yeah. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we, oh, yeah. So the next song we have is about damn time by Lizzo. Clean version. Oh, clean version. <laughs> um, yeah. So we Let's, could start going over the moves. Okay. So first one is um. So we have tap on the table and then tap above your head. Tap. Tap and up. 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 All right, next one is our rainbow. So you're starting at one side and rainbowing all the way to the other side and back like a wave. Very nice. All right, and then our next one is tapping with one, like this, alternating taps. Right, and then we have our marching again. Everyone's got them marching down, and and then we repeat. All right, let's yeah. get started. Oh, I'll add again. Try it. Try it. Okay. All right, so we're starting. Oh. Not bad. Oh. It's bad o'clock, yeah, it's thick, 30. I've been through a lot, but I'm still flirty. Is everybody back up in the building? It's been a minute, tell me how you're healing. Cause I'm about to get into my feelings. How you feeling? How you feel right, right now? Here,
Is everyone down for one more? Everyone, yeah, 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 yeah. we have one more song. Uh, we just want to finish up a little bit early because we know there's like a meditation mm -hmm. group after. Yeah. So, who saw the Barbie movie when it was here? Barbie movie? Anyone? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. This is from the Barbie movie. It's Dance the Night with Dua Lipa from the Barbie movie. It's this fun new song. Barbie Day here. Barbie yeah. Day. Yeah. Liz will fit right in with her Love hair. Barbie. Yeah. Yeah. Love yeah. Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you want to take a little bit of a drink of water, but everyone's good to go right into the next one. Uh, while you guys are taking a break, I'll just go over the moves. We're doing our side to side again. You guys know that already. We're doing our tap and reach, tap and reach. You guys know it well. Then for 20 seconds, we're freestyle dancing. Oh, we're freestyle we're, we're dancing. dancing. Awesome. We're freestyle dancing. And then we're back to our side to side and we're repeating throughout the song. Yeah. It's a short yeah. song, so figure why not? Just do one more. Yeah. All right, so remember to start from the side to side. One. Thank you all for coming to the 2005 Dundee Awards. In the end, the greatest snowball isn't a snowball at all. It's fear. Merry Christmas. Okay. All right, we're starting with our hair. Here we go.
everyone. Nice. So, all right. So just a few announcements. Um, we won't be here next week just because the water's shutting off, but we will be here the following week. Yep. We're talking about clothing and shoes and um accessories and things like that to prevent falls. And our theme for cardio drumming next week is disco. So oh, we're going to have It's <laughs> Yeah, we got Saturday. We have babies on there. We have Staying Alive. Good Alive. Staying Alive is a preview. We got Dancing Queen by Adam. We got Earth, Wind, and Fire. So get ready for next week. We're going to be a lot of, a lot of disco. So yeah, thank you everyone so much for coming. We really appreciate that. Um, if you have any questions, and thank you to everyone on Zoom for coming. We always appreciate you guys coming and participating. It's amazing. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. The camera's working well today. I could really see you dancing well with the uh, noodle. So thanks for sitting front and center and the good tunes and the good information. We appreciate being So next week is, uh, or not next week, two weeks is 12 months, and then those after things get taken back to the next week is ice, snow, rain, etc. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, thing. They were saving, maybe it'll get a little bit older by that time. So it'll, be, it'll be needed. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a great one, guys. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, thank you. Later.